Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and it seems as if the Light Trilogy will finally be complete. As a new Steve Universe game, Steve Universe Unleashed the Light, has been subtly announced in today's Apple Arcade press release. It's been a big day for Apple, the iPhone 11 has been unveiled, and with a refined look of Apple Arcade, the company aims to round in some gamers. Now it's not too clear if all these games will be available at launch. If so, a brand new Steve Universe game is coming out, like, next week. But we do have a tiny piece of information. Steve Universe Unleashed the Light is an original Cartoon Network game, co-written by Rebecca Sugar, where players pick their favorite characters, choose which gems are in their party, unlock awesome new abilities, and equip alternate costumes in the ultimate mobile role-playing game. So unfortunately, whereas the middle game Save the Light was on consoles, it appears Unleash the Light is going back to mobile, but luckily with Apple TV and thus Apple Arcade, customers will be able to play on their phones, their tablets like iPads, and even their television screens. And looking at the press image attached, not only is the game post Change Your Mind, but prior to the movie, meaning that this is our first somewhat canonical story that takes place within that two-year time skip, as the Light series are considered level two canon, although this year on TV's podcast we refer to them as just canon, we see Pearl, Garnet, and Lapis are playable. Now, what's interesting about Lapis is that she was meant to be a DLC character in Save the Light. Announcing the press emails for that, and once the PC release rolled around, they even found her voice files. But assumably, because Save the Light had a rather rocky launch, the reviews unfortunately weren't too hot, and it probably impacted sales, which sucks because Save the Light is such a fun, well thought out game. I love playing it, and I still play it to this day. So while as long as you have an Apple TV, you'll be able to play it on your television screens, eh, it still kind of hurts. Though in a just world, Attack the Light, Save the Light, and Unleash the Light will all get ported to consoles. Maybe someday. But these titles going on Apple Arcade appear to be exclusive, so I think it may be a while before we actually see those ports. But one thing's for sure, we more than likely are going to get brand new information at New York Comic Con, which is just next month at the Steve Universe panel as they did tease a surprise or two. Ideally, one of those surprises is something that ties into the next season of the series, but one of those surprises being an in-depth look at Unleashed a Light is a very exciting prospect. And level one or level two canon or not, the game's counted my eyes. It's co-written by Rebecca Sugar. She put effort in contributing to the story of this game. I believe the Light series are the only Steve Universe games that are able to say that. But as always, I want to know what you guys think. Will you be picking up Alicia Light, or are you going to hold out for a console port? And if you do want a console port, let your voices be heard. Go buy Save the Light. It's available on consoles and PC. If you want more Steve Universe games on consoles, you have to vote with your wallet. Attack the Light has been selling well for years, which is probably why we're even able to get a third Light game. But unfortunately, the consoles just didn't have that same amount of energy. But alas, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Vox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel, or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Vox, signing out.